Hey guys, in my last video I showed you how to make the two-handed version of the acorn whistle. Now today I'm going to show you how to do the one-handed. Now it's the one-handed is just a little bit more difficult because the position of your hand has to be a little bit more exact in order to get it to work. But I'm sure with practice you'll you'll get it down. Now in the last video I told you that to use the bigger size acorn caps. Okay, this one was the chestnut oak acorn and I'm going to show you how to hold it now. So all you're going to do is you're going to use these two fingers right here and you're going to put the the cap right in there okay right where you know your V is and then you're going to grab it there with those two fingers. Now all we're going to do is we're going to hold a slight gap between the fingers and blow right down there and it's going to make the whistle. The main problem with mastering this one is that usually people have too big of a gap. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take your lips and put it on your knuckles and you blow the air straight down this gap between your fingers to get the whistle to work. Here we go. We're just going to blow right down here. If it doesn't work, like that, like I showed you, it usually means you have to just squeeze your fingers a little bit tighter. And if that doesn't work, it probably has to do with the uh, position of the acorn. The acorn has to be right up against this little webbing between your fingers, okay? And then you have to hold it tight to be able to do it. All right, guys, so that's how you make a one-handed acorn whistle. Um, this would obviously be a good for an emergency situation. It's very loud so if you get lost or need to make um, some noise you can always use the whistle and remember you just do three pulses beep 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 meaning that you are lost. Alright guys thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this to your friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.